Hey, Tuber fans, welcome back to my shop. Uh, you know, I've been doing a lot of turning lately, but I haven't been filming much because I've been doing a lot of bowls like the one you see here on my lathe um, and this one here. I'm getting ready to switch back. I just finished this one up. I'm going to do some finishing touches on the sanding on this one next. But And then brought up a question that I've been thinking about a bit lately. And then the other thing is, is pens. A lot of pens. Valentine's Day has really kind of got me bogged down with larger bowls and pens for for spouses, which is great. I mean, I enjoy doing those, but I don't get a lot. I don't get to make a lot of videos for you guys. And please forgive my camera stand um, for being able to move the camera around in different places. Um, but um, I don't want to move it out. Um, I just my question is this, and I want to just kind of open a little debate. I'm thinking about changing because I have to. Foolish guy I am. I did this with my five inch or five four and a half inch jaws um, in the expansion mode on this one um, and this one this bowl being a sm slightly smaller bowl only a 10 inch bowl I did with <coughs> my um, three and a half or three inch um, expansion jaws um, bowl oh this is a beautiful bowl by the way this is my newest bowl. It's, I like it. Maybe the design or the shape is not what most of you like. And it's just got a uh, shellac um, finish, a friction polish on there. Um, I find it food safe, so I kind of like it. Um, and it, um, Food safe finish that I make um, myself, and I like it. So, but I like that shape. I think it's a beautiful shape. And this piece of wood is a gorgeous piece of wood. This is tamarisk. The largest piece of tamarisk I've found, 10 inches in diameter. Um, I think it's 10 inches. I could be wrong. Let me double check that for you. Uh, nine and a half. My bad. Nine and a half inches. I was close. Nine and a half inches in diameter. Beautiful piece of... And I haven't polished it up yet, so you can kind of see some lines in there. Um, all I did was put the coat... It has, what, one or two coats. One coat. So I've still got two more coats to put on there. Um, but I need to let it dry and cure for a day or so before I put a couple more coats. So you can see the lines where I've been doing that, or putting the friction polish on, and then I'll, I'll buff that out later. Um, so this one's not done yet, but the Valentine's Day is tomorrow. I'm going to get my act together, because that's for Valentine's Day. That's for Valentine's Day. This big one here. And you know, I got all the pens done, but then I got five, five bowls done. So i got to get these last two bowls done, so I'm out here in the shop late tonight. Um, working on these, but uh, as I was saying, I'm really, th this is my question, sorry, got off track, forgive me, um, my, my question, and I want to kind of a little debate here, and then I am not going to do a lot of editing, I'm just going to post this, um, as you can see, I've got my, my Nova Chuck on the lathe here, this is my uh, Nova 2 Chuck, um, Super Nova 2, um, and I I have um, a couple different chucks, but I'm thinking about switching over to the um, quick change system. Either going with the Nova or going with the Easy Chuck. Um, and as you can see, I only got uh, I got my little gimpy arm here. Um, I only got one good arm, and I I keep watching the videos over and over for the Nova Chuck, and I'm concerned about the kind of the two-handed nature of changing those jaws out. Um, it looks like it's a little more um, two-handed intense because you got to be pushing down with one hand and then you got to twist it out with the other hand and I I'm not gonna be able to do that so I'm curious as what your guys' feedback is if that's a good good chuck for someone like me who doesn't have quite have that ability to do that and so I'd really like some feedback on that um, if you wouldn't mind um, and the other one is the is the easy chuck. I'm really, I'm kind of leaning towards that one. Yeah, I'm looking at, you know, I'll probably end up selling my other chucks because, so that I can purchase that. I've got two Nova chucks and a Grizzly chuck. Don't use the Grizzly chuck much more, much anymore because I have a complete set of Nova jaws. But the expenses to buy the adapters and adapt the chuck, um, and just one chuck I'm talking here, um, to adapt that are going to be almost exactly the same. Um, 
I'm looking at 800 bucks for the easy chucking system um, versus my Nova chuck system, which I looking at 800 bucks again um, to make that change over um, to change the change the, the guts inside here and then get the uh, um, back plates to put on all of my jaws so that they'll be an easy switch. So th my thoughts are, my question is, what would be best? Um, which would be the best option for me? And and keep in mind that I don't have. I, I mean, I can't. I can't grip. I mean, that's the, that's the extent of my motion. So I really can't grip with my right hand. Um, but I would really like some feedback from those who have experience with those other two types, uh, or with eat both types, whether or not you think it would be um, if one would be easier over, for me over the other. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but I'm thinking, I'm leaning one way or the other, but I really don't know, so I, I would love some feedback. Um, I'll post this video. I'm looking forward to some comments. I know I don't have a ton of viewers, but I would really like some comments. Um, and when, once I do get in and, and buy one of those, I'll, I'll give you my my review of what I decided to purchase um, and, and, and what I think of it, how I think it's going to work for me. So... Uh, based on what you guys know and think, I'd appreciate your feedback. Thanks.